Hello, my name is Dr. Paul Choi. I am the director of Los Angeles Endoscopy Center. I am also a fellow member of American Gastroenterological Association. In this presentation, I'll be discussing stomach cancer. Stomach cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death worldwide. Each year, over one million individuals succumb to this illness. Fortunately, the incidence of stomach cancer has been decreasing in this country. For example, in the year 1900, the stomach cancer was the leading cause of cancer death in the United States. A century later, in the year 2000, the stomach cancer was only the seventh leading cause of cancer-related death in this country. In addition, immigration studies from Japan have shown that individuals who migrate to the U.S. have a lower risk of developing stomach cancer the longer they stay in the United States. On the other hand, stomach cancer still remains the leading cause of cancer-related death in other parts of the world, particularly in the Eastern Europe and Far East. For instance, in Korea, the stomach cancer accounts for up to one quarter of all cancer-related death. In addition, despite rapid advances in modern medicine, only one in five patients given the diagnosis of stomach cancer survived beyond five years. Thus, early diagnosis and treatment remain critical for this illness. The cause of stomach cancer appears to be manifold. In particular, dietary and environmental factors appear to be important. Eating salty and smoked food is thought to increase this risk. Smoking also significantly elevates the risk of developing stomach cancer. Helicobacter pylori, a bacteria that infects the lining of stomach, is found to be particularly important in the development of stomach cancer. In fact, according to one study, patients with Helicobacter pylori are found to have up to six times the risk of uninfected individuals. Symptoms associated with stomach cancer at an early stage are often vague and nonspecific. Often, patients complain of indigestion and abdominal discomfort that are difficult to distinguish from other upper intestinal disorders such as reflux disease or peptic ulcer. As the disease progresses, there may be other symptoms such as early satiety, nausea, vomiting, and anorexia. Eventually, abdominal pain may become persistent and severe, accompanied by other symptoms including bleeding, jaundice, and weight loss. The overall 5-year survival of stomach cancer is very low at 20%. This survival is highly dependent on the stage of the cancer at diagnosis. Among patients diagnosed with an advanced stage cancer, only 65% may survive beyond 6 months. In fact, only 4% of patients with advanced cancer survive beyond 5 years. On the other hand, those diagnosed at an early stage, the five-year survival may be as high as 70%. Thus, an early and timely diagnosis of stomach cancer remains the most important focus in the prevention and treatment of stomach cancer. In general, for high-risk individuals, a regular and routine upper endoscopy examination starting at the age of 40 
is recommended. In addition, cessation of smoking and avoidance of salty and smoked food are often advised. Finally, if detected, Helicobacter pylori infection is recommended to be treated with antibiotics. Thank you for listening. Thank you.